So for those that don't know me, I'm Dave Farrell, I'm from Cropland. Cropland has been uh, manufacturing sprays in Australia for over 50 odd years. Um, as Granny said, we're owned by New Farm. We cover every aspect of a pine product to any type of crop, so whether it's horticulture, uh, broad acre, vegetables, you know, we're, we're into it. Um, so with what we've got here today, uh, as you've all sort of seen the last few days, there's been some strange people standing in a corner of the top of the elbow, a couple of weird looking signs. We're machinery people, we're not packing people. Um, so basically what you've got behind us is uh, the Robotics Plus Phosphor. Uh, we're Croplands and Robotics Plus. Robotics Plus is a New Zealand company. They've been in robotics for quite a long time. As you'll find throughout lunch, we'll have a couple of different videos playing, so you'll get to see, and you'll, you'll, for those who are in the Apple game, we'll, we'll know that, who they are. But they have robotic Apple packing machines, they have robotic log scanning machines, the New Zealand log scanning. So they've been in robotics for a long time. We do have a, uh, we are lucky enough to have Hayden Briscoe here wandering around. Hayden is the um, Prosper product manager from Robotics Plus. So what we've got with uh, Prosper, Prosper is a sustainable machine, so it's the, it's the new kid on the block. What you've got is a hybrid powered uh, it's a sorry, it's a diesel powered hybrid engine. So it's a 74 horsepower Kohler engine, driving, developing power wholly and solely for the battery. The whole machine is electric drive. It is four wheel drive. The front wheels will go beyond 90 degrees, as you will see a little bit later when we start it up. You'll see all the electronics on it and all the wiring on it. You know, all of us coming from eggs and around go, oh wires, electrics, oh, chemicals, water. What you'll notice with this is Robotics Plus have actually gone around the world and have partnered with some really important people. So Yamaha Electronics do all the electronics on these machines. And they have, have designed all the electronics on it. Uh, Robotics Plus control it all. So uh, the whole machine on it, if you climb around it, walk all over it, you'll actually find four grease nipples on the whole machine. That's it, there are no other grease nipples. Uh, serviceability, what we're going to do, we're going to check our oil, check our fuel, check our water, clean our filters, and that's it. Uh, everything is um, basically modular on the system, so if a, if a wheel motor uh, has any issues, we unbolt it and we replace it. We don't need to be turning around with mechanics and uh, repairing it. So basically we, we then run through on the front of the machine, when you see we've got three LIDARs, they're the weird looking little sensors out on the front of the machine so they are actually scanning the crop and looking where the machine is actually going and they understand what the crop looks like, they understand what a kangaroo looks like. Uh, when we demoed Howard Hansen's the other day they actually understood what a dog looked like. We had a dog doing circles around the machine so it was actually aware of all of that, what was going on. Uh, on the back side of it you'll see a grey tank. The grey tank is a modular system so we have four clips around the side of the machine. We have two electrical fittings that will actually unclip so we can lift the whole spray unit, unit off the vehicle and the vehicle platform can actually move away and then we can utilise that for other, um, other operations in the orchards and vineyards. If we move right out to the back then, Yamaha and Robotics Plus actually came to Croplands and said we wanted to set up systems, a spray system to go on the back. So they came to us and basically looked at our quantum mist fan. The quantum mist fan is used widely around the world these days. We sell over 2,500 of those heads worldwide. And they are used uh, quite heavily now into the apple orchards, cherry orchards, vineyards, uh, macadamias, uh, mango trees, vineyards, uh, blueberries, raspberries, all of that. You will notice in the back of that there is no hydraulics. It is an electric motor designed by Yamaha. All the back end is quite a simple system. You'll see the water pump at the back, the valves at the back. So it preserves the ability of the system. Undo two bolts, pull two pins, and you can walk straight into the back of the pump and address what you need to address. When we turn around and start looking at the machine a little bit more, some people are turning around saying, oh yeah, that's great. It's a, it's an autonomous robot machine. That's unreal. How many of you actually got out there working? 
There are 12 of these machines running in Washington State today. There are two of them also running in Blenheim in a vineyard that have run for over 12 months of Treasury Wine Estate. Okay, so there's plenty in the, in the field for anybody looking to really get excited about it. We have machines available on today's market and they are ready to rock and roll. Um, so if we look at the machine straight up, as I said, it's four-wheel drive, 90 degrees. The machine itself will run on five litres an hour. It's got a 124 litre diesel tank on board. That will last 24 hours of use. Okay, it's an extremely quiet machine.